Okay, so if we go this way, this heads back to our, obviously the Hilltop Fort again, but also another station. So Hilltop Fort, so another route back. But then there's also another um, other area that we can get to. Wait, did I just turn myself around? No, okay. Which was another mining area. Yeah, this looks right. which is our another mining substation. All of this was just natural caves. So this is all underneath everything. And although like I dug this tunnel to get from one spot to another, this is pretty much one of our other stations. So more of an area here. So we're kind of like a, a giant ant farm colony where we're doing more stuff underground than we are typically above ground, where you'll see like if you watch lots of YouTube videos, lots of people like to build stuff. Um, above ground, it just seems like we always are building underground stuff. I put in this glass structure because we kept getting attacked every time we were trying to move around through here. And that's another way back. All winds around. And then I was creating a kind of a monster trap here that I haven't finished yet. But uh, it was a lava water idea. Whoa. That spider didn't like me. So kind of just a, a water, supposed to push the mobs down into the lava and then you can pick up all the stuff down there at the bottom. I haven't quite finished all of that yet. So again, um, so where does this lead out to? So best thing for me to show you that, oh, I was over here, that's right. So the way out is, we enclosed this because we were getting attacked again and stuff was dropping on us, this was all natural. And if, if I'm jerking the camera around a lot, it's just because I'm trying to make sure I don't get hit by a creeper. So this is how we found it. We kind of dropped into here and then realized it that it connected to everything we were doing already. Used to be a bunch of trees and stuff out here. We'll chop some of those down. So what you can see here is that there's the DR building. Here's the back entrance to the fort, hilltop fort. That's a cave entrance that goes back inside the cave entrance again. I'm going to get up here so you can just kind of see. All right, so the glass area with the mob traps right there. Another substation 2 is underneath that. Here's hilltop fort. I got nighttime again while I was running around. And we just started creating a few buildings here, but then our spawn changed to this area right here, so now we can't fix that, because that's where the spawn point is now if you die. Alright, so a few more things. Um, let me do this. Let me go ahead and, well, we'll just risk it. What's a little adventure without dying, right? So over here we built a bridge over to this next little island and we wanted to put a portal on the top there. So we were building over here. We haven't got too much further than this. Um, well, you know what, I don't know if this has like a, a good ladder system or not. Oh. Well, this could be interesting. Didn't have it lit up in here. So this goes to the top of the tower. Oh, don't fall off. There we go. And we had a portal, which I'm still not sure if that works in multiplayer or not. And then one of the other things we were doing is we were trying to make like a high dive off into the water, which I believe you can do in this area here. I think it's right around here somewhere. You can do that. Oh, maybe that's the high dive right there. So some more area. What I'll do next is maybe I'll just pause here, let the sun come up, and then I'll show you this area out here. Um, and so, th so far that's just our small structure. And again, we're not mega builders. I'm not trying to impress anybody by the building skills here. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of what some of the multiplayer guys were working on and we're just starting out. 
So I'll pause here a second and then uh, I'll show you the rest. Okay, uh, day has broken, so we'll go ahead and show you a few more things and then we'll be done with what we're doing here. I mean, again, we haven't done a lot. I think most of the time we just spent underground mining minerals and getting ready to build some big structures. So it's just kind of the starting phase of that. Uh, one neat thing that I saw here that somebody had made was kind of an underwater area. I think, if I remember correctly, there's a way to here, but I don't know. We'll see. Hope I don't drown because I don't really know how he did it. So, oh, there we go. So a nice underwater area. And then on top of that is that tree. So let's hope we can get back up and out. Fight the current back. There we go. And then back out to our dock. I was thinking eventually we'd put a boat out here of some sort, but I still haven't done that yet. Um, and then there's that big tree right on top of it, which is kind of funny. Looks kind of cool when it's lit up at night. So other things we can go look at. Never waste an opportunity to collect materials. Keep going. Uh, so what I have here is next to me I had some mining area. I was trying to build over here, but I just kept getting killed, which... A lot of times I get hit by a creeper right around here somewhere. And it messes everything up. And then this whole new chunk of land came in. So I was digging a shaft, which is what this does. It goes to a whole other area. I'll show you where that comes out to. And then we were digging over here. We decided just to start traveling in one direction to see what's out there. And that's where this kind of mine cart goes, is way out that way. So eventually, um, we have a, a giant shaft mine out there. I can show you that too. So i got to dig all this out because this wasn't normally here. And it's just a big chunk of land that just got placed here. It was all desert. Over here, I was trying to create a couple of things, um, although this giant piece of land got put in the way. But I was trying to create kind of like a cactus... Um, base where anything that would attack it because you were inside it would get killed by all the cactuses and I was kind of working out how to make it an automatic kind of item area where water would bring the items to you but I just haven't finished all that out but uh, so we just created this out of sand and then we also did mine because I needed a, it was hard to get from here back over to the base quite a bit because there's just so many creatures all the time so I did create a shaft that runs all the way over there. Whoa, there we go. So more area cave mine. This was a natural cave area I hit. This one I dug back towards where I wanted the base to be. I wasn't quite sure how far I'd have to go. So you kind of see this is more of the safe route back when I don't have to deal with the mobs that are up on the surface. Probably eventually I'll mine that out. This goes back to the cave system. So this was one of the, remember this was the one of the tunnels I showed you. Let me show you it real quick. Here's one of those tunnels. That's the tunnel down. So this is back along that mine shaft and back up. So this is basically the tree fort. It's weird that there's iron sitting right there because that's, we wouldn't have left that. So it's really weird how the map has changed sometimes because of that weird chunk glitch we got. Alright, so this just kind of comes up into this little area here that I haven't finished yet. I was just kind of starting to block it off so that I could work here and not get attacked by creepers and such. Alright, so you see right back where we are. So that went from here all the way over to the cactus area. Then when this popped up, I had to go ahead and we turned that into a tree farm for now. But I also just dug a tunnel through it so I could get through it on the surface so that I could work over here. 
Okay, so this is eventually going to be um, kind of a giant structure. Um, it's going to be a tower eventually. I've got to cut all that back out of the way and then continue to build this up. Um, this is going to be the first level here, and then it's going to continue pretty high as I begin to build structure after structure. Um, it's kind of a, I'm trying to make something similar, not quite a circle, but something that just isn't squared. So I think when you, if you were to look at it from you know high in the sky, it would look pretty interesting. And it's going to be many levels high, so I haven't quite finished that yet. Again, just playing with different ideas of what looked right structure-wise. Just couldn't figure out the type of architecture I wanted to do. Um, here was another little, I'll show you that in a second. Kind of like just a, this was a natural area, um, which I think I typically, is the problem with the way I build, is I just find some piece of interesting land, and then I build around it or what's on it. So it doesn't necessarily come out as being a man-made structure. It's more like I put structure around whatever's already there. So it doesn't, it doesn't always look the way I thought it was going to. Just a tower, you know, different different way to do a tower. I see my map's not redrawing over that way. Playing around with different styles of architecture or just trying to see what it would look like to see the different material next to each other, how it's shaded out. You know, in different texture packs, that looks a little better than it does now in this texture pack. Uh, we did build a land bridge across there because we have a mining operation way out that way. Another little island. I, that, that island was natural, so I just put a little fortification on it. I was thinking eventually to have more ships and stuff out here in the water. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. I've already obviously got all kinds of Minecraft projects going on, so who knows how much time I have to do any of these. Um, and then I'll just show you this other one, and that's pretty much what I'll show you for now. I did have a, we did have a shaft mine out there, but I guess you know once you've seen one, you've probably seen them all. I should have my sword out while I'm running around. Again, this was naturally here, um, this piece of it, and I wanted to build something on top of it or around it. And I was just trying to experiment with different ways to have buildings. And it's been blown up by creepers a couple times and rebuilt a couple times. Um, and just playing around, trying to figure out what looked okay, what didn't. More of the chunk air, more of the chunk air. And right over there where that pillar is, I believe, is where our, we have a shaft line now. Actually, we're pretty close, so maybe I'll just run over there real quick. And we noticed something below us because the, the map wasn't drawing in, and then you had to log out and you log back in, and the map's actually there. But we thought we saw something down here that would be pretty interesting. So we decided to create a kind of a shaft mine down, which I believe also has a stair down. And we created this because we ran into a natural cave system. So just another area that kind of blocks us off and we we're able to explore from here in natural cave systems. So it's like we kind of set these up quite often um, when we have a, a big area that we're going to be exploring around and then we can send stuff back through the rail craft back the rail carts back over to the base. So that's what we've been working on so far. Um, and again, just work in progress, just starting. We'll have to see where, where it goes. Definitely not yet a theme server or something like that, although I, I've been wanting to try to get a, into one of those where somebody has a brand new server and they're going to, you know, do it around some type of theme. 